Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fort Worth, Texas, with a fairly new auditor by the name of Anonymous Audits. Uh, yeah, I emphasize the I in there because he kind of misspelled his channel name. I don't know if that was intentional or accidental, but whatever. But at any rate, he uh, goes by the old uh, frauditor script and uh, audits a local post office. And it really doesn't go so well for him, as the cops are called. And he is, well... Uh, trespassed and detained. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Jack D. Watson Post Office built in Fort Worth, Texas. That is what I'm talking about. This is going to be an interesting audit. This is a very busy post office. Hopefully no one's alarmed or gets scared, worried, etc. But... This is the Jack D. Watson Post Office building. I'm gonna have to find out who Jack D. Watson is. Uh, I'm sure I could find that online fairly easy. All right, so this is how we know we are on public property. Visitor and customer parking. Really, dude? You use that as a judgment of whether or not a uh, piece of property is public or not? You do realize that like, uh, Walmart is privately owned but open to the public. So, dude, not a very good way to determine whether or not a area is uh, publicly owned, privately owned, government owned, based upon what the uh, sign says as far as the parking situation goes, dude. Not a very smart way to go about that. So, try again, dude. Moments later. Uh, so let's see what they have to say. Excuse me, sir. Do you need some no, ma'am, I don't. Thank you, though. What was your name? It's Jackie. Jackie, thank you, Jackie. Not at this time. Uh -huh. So, what are you? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures. Okay. And it's concerning what? Uh, just personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to anybody? Because you're not supposed to be filming in the postal service. Well, that's not what Poster 7 says. It's federal law. I actually am allowed to do it for these purposes. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure about that, dumbass? Because according to this paragraph in Poster 7, the one that you are constantly, well, the other frauditors are constantly uh, reciting but never fully interpret, is that, uh, yeah, it needs to be a public meeting or you need to have permission of the local postmaster or installation head, you smooth brain dumbass frauditor. Ooh. For news purposes? Oh. I'm an independent journalist, so for news purposes, yeah, Poster 7 says yeah, that I'm a... Yeah, this is federal. I'm sorry? Yeah, this is federal. Yeah, I understand, but the taxpayers pay for this, that's why I'm allowed to do it in public oh, spaces. Taxes in it. It's a First Amendment protected activity, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, we're, we're taxes I don't, I don't want to argue about it. I don't need the well, I just want to check and see, okay? Okay, that's fine. Oh, looky what we've got here. A frauditor admitting that they were wrong about something. Did hell freeze over? So if you admit to being wrong on this, how many other things on this audit were you wrong about, but just don't want to admit to, or uh, just are completely ignorant of? Huh, kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? And that, boys and girls, is why, as a frauditor, you never want to admit that you were ever wrong because it leaves you open to uh, scrutiny like that. Because if you're wrong about one thing, you could be wrong about many other things. And that is why you fail at this point. So please continue on. Thank you.
They said that I was taking too long in here. Make sure you don't erase that because I'm going to public request it, ma'am. It's a criminal offense if you do. They are rude here and boy, will they be hearing from us. We are going to definitely file some complaints here today. Oh my God, who the hell cares? She's uh, calling the cops on me right now. I have a situation here. Because the guy with the camera is dangerous. I call the police. They're going to be here soon. That's fine. I don't mind waiting for them. I don't know why. I'm a guy with the camera. Yeah, but they're recording you too. And these are public information records. They can act. I can actually get all the information off these cameras at any time. So you ought to. Well, that's why not do it with my camera instead. Where it's not uh, adulterated. Go ahead, call the police. I'm, they already did it, but I don't mind waiting, ma'am. I have. I'm, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna be a good witness. That's fine. You should. You're making a lot of people. You're making me nervous. Right. I shouldn't be. Yeah, you're gonna have, have to have, have the police never. come up here and potentially do something yeah. aggressive and against the law to me, and that's way too bad because I don't deserve to have that happen. I'm calling him out the post office on Mark Four Parkway. <laughs> This camera's gonna show that everybody that I talk to interacted with me first. There's no well, I suggest we go ahead and skip to the part where the police show up because, well, he's just gonna continue antagonizing everybody in this post office. And, uh, well, the police are not gonna have any of that. So let's skip ahead to that. Much, much, much later. And that's, that's just all I'm doing here. Okay. Hi, gentlemen. How are you? Oh, no one wants to speak to me. No. Yeah, okay. No, oh, they don't want to speak to me. Well, because you said they called too. Well, yeah, they did. But you know, I'm just. They'll come out. They know. Who, they know what who they're looking for, and so that's why. What's going on here? I'm just filming, sir. Okay. In the public accessible areas. Okay. What's your Is name? Your badge number? Reason? Yeah, for personal news purposes. For what? News purposes? News purposes? Yeah, I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Um, What's your badge number, sir? 3006. Okay, and your... What uh, else? Deal of Santos? Yes, oh, no, that's awesome. it. Is your, is your body camera in? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. But that's it. I mean, I... From I what I understand, we've got reports of you harassing people in here. So that's not true, and I've got it all on camera. I have only spoken to people when engaged. I've been very quiet and respectful filming the walls. Yeah, only filming the walls. Yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, you tend to lie, but your video says otherwise. So, who do we believe? The one who's running his mouth or the evidence that you filmed? Especially with the uh, words that you put up on the screen. Hostility incoming, which basically means... You knew you were being antagonistic at this point, dumbass. Uh, not really like looking. I didn't ever go to the counter and see personal information or anything like that. Okay. I've only been in the public accessible areas. Okay. And under poster number, uh, poster number seven says that for news purposes, I can film in these areas. I haven't engaged anybody. I've actually been very respectful, kind. I haven't, res you know, raised my voice, cursed anybody out or anything. Only when someone's spoken to me have I spoken back. Okay. And, and, and I would hope that they would admit that because that is the truth. Okay. Hey, good. How are you? So you're no longer welcome on property. How am I being trespassed if there's no first this crime? Hurt. This I'm not going to do that. I'm going to listen okay. to you guys. Ma'am, could you make it clear that what you want from him? You're no longer welcome on a property as of today. What's your name? Denira. Denira. Okay. You're going to get a big complaint and probably fired. Okay. Put your phone up. You're leaving. Uh, I'm going to walk out under threat of arrest, sir. Right now you're being detained. Okay, for what for what crime? For criminal trespassing. But that's a secondary. What's okay. the first one? Okay, you're gonna get a warning right now, and you're gonna leave. Okay. So let's go outside. What's your name? And I'm gonna tell you again. Let's go. Oh, look at how he's yeah. grabbing me. We don't have patience for this. Okay? Oh no, that's fine. But you you are actually using use of force that's not I legal. You outside. No, you're no you. I ask you to leave. Why are you still holding me I and I'm outside? Because you're not walking on your own. I am. I can't walk on my own. Yeah, just walk. Look at this guy. He is literally grabbing me yeah. and holding me. Okay. This dude is fired. Right here. Stand right here. What's your name? I don't answer questions. Okay, so you're refusing to identify yourself to us? There's no crime. Under investigation. I only do it under crimes. Okay. You can call me good citizen. Okay. Sir, do they ask you to leave? 
They asked you to leave. They did ask me to leave. Yes, okay, okay. so you have you're... refused to leave, so that is criminal trespass. What's yeah. your name? I don't give out information. Okay, so are you refusing to ID? And without a crime, without a crime, I am, yeah. Hey, you lack brain paint chip eater. They asked you to leave and you didn't leave. That's trespassing. That is a crime under Texas law. In fact, any state in the United States, that is a uh, offense against the law. You have committed a crime, dipstick. They asked you to leave and you did not leave. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm being arrested. You're being detained right now. Oh, it looks like and I'm if you detained. continue this attitude, you will be arrested. Well, these are torture cuffs, so I think no, I'm being arrested. Torture. They are. What's your name? Whatever I don't name. answer questions. Do you have any idea? I plead my fifth. You didn't, okay. I don't give you lawful okay. search and unlegal search and seizures. That's my Fourth Amendment right. I got there in public. Dude, uh, the uh, Fourth Amendment protects you from uh, unreasonable searches and seizures of your personal property. Your identification card, driver's license, is not your personal property. It is the property of the state and can be taken away from you if your license has been revoked, you dumbass. But hey, stupid is as stupid does, and this frauditor is incredibly stupid, All and all he's been doing is following the... Uh, Typical frauditor script, no originality whatsoever. So good luck with your new career of being a uh, total ignoramus, dude. So have fun with that. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.